So what does cause flipping? Ironically, it's got nothing to do with your hands. It has everything to do with your lead elbow. Flipping, also known as scooping, is when a golfer on a downswing comes down and the club goes like that. Notice the bend in the hands. Now many people believe this. The, what causes this is the golfer is trying to scoop the ball up to get it up in the air, hence the name scooping. And I know this is the bane of many a golfer's existence. And I know many of you believe that you're not trying to scoop it. You've worked hard to not scoop it and flip, and you still do it. Now, the reason for this is actually pretty straightforward. The fix is actually pretty easy, but it's going to take a little work reworking on your arm movement. But the fix itself is also pretty simple. So what does cause flipping? Ironically, it's got nothing to do with your hands. It has everything to do with your lead elbow. Now notice when you come down to the bottom here, you square the club up, you're about to hit the ball. Notice your elbow. This elbow is still pointed at the target. If this continues forward, what's going to happen? You're going to hyperextend this elbow. Now there's an origami golf rule. Your body will protect itself from injury. So to protect itself from injury, what's your body going to do? Well, one option it has is to stop the forward momentum of your forearm. If it stops the momentum of that forearm, though, if it stops it from moving, what happens? Well, the club is going to keep moving, and you're going to flip. As long as you keep this elbow pointed at the target at impact, you're going to flip because your body is going to protect itself from injury. It's like putting your hand on a hot stove. You're going to jerk it off before you know what you've done. You can't force yourself to keep your hand on a hot stove. In the same way, you can't force yourself to hyperextend this elbow. Your body's not going to let you do it. What's the solution? Well, I got some bad news for you. One, the reason this elbow is pointed at the targeted impact is because you're using your hands and your forearm to square the club face. Now notice, when I square using my hands and forearms, what doesn't turn? My elbow. It remains pointed at the target. And as long as that remains pointed at the target, you're going to flip. The solution is to use your bicep and shoulder to square the club face. It's your bicep and shoulder. Notice, here it is just without a club. Bicep and shoulder. When I turn my bicep, all this below it turns and squares. And this is in a position where it can now naturally fold in the other direction and avoid the hyperextension. So the solution to flipping is to learn to square the club face with your shoulder and bicep, not your forearm and hands.